Michael and Aid on your side alert for parents. You know, technology is changing, and so are the way that teachers are communicating with our kids. But there is a fine line, what's appropriate and what's not. That's true, and News Channel Ace Adrian Pedersen joins us from the Tampa News Center to explain what the school board is doing about it. Good evening. From messaging on Facebook to texting, the Hillsborough County School Board wants to make sure the rules are clear when it comes to your students talking to teachers. On like Twitter or social media, if you can post something and then they will directly see what's happening. I think with, you know, kids today, texting is probably the easiest way to reach them. Mm -hmm. Under a new policy in the works, teachers can reach out to students through texting and even personal social media something that used to be against district That's rules. Sort of Aid on Your Side brought the policy to Kelly Burns, social media expert and associate professor at USF, to get her take on it. One thing that's really important with all these messages is that they can be retrieved, so that if there were any issues or any questions, that they could be pulled up and anybody could review the messages. Burns is right. Saved messages is one of the guidelines. Some of the others include that those messages need to be voluntary, they have to be initiated by the teacher, and they must comply with board policy. Burns recommends a one-way texting service. The problem with texting and social media sites is that we use them so informally. Sometimes messages could be misconstrued if we're talking to students on those sites. Students want instant feedback. You can contact the school board and let them know what you think of the policy. The final vote will be December 15th. In the Tampa News Center, I'm Adrian Pedersen. Back to you. Thank you, Adrian. And if you want to review those rules and regulations, all the information is on our homepage at WFLA.com.